I only might uh, talk about the, especially the ending of your little match there, and then we'll open it up for questions. Yeah, Nick's a great wrestler, great competitor. Hopefully, you know, we can train together in the future and continue to grow together because I think he's going to have a, hopefully he keeps wrestling and he's going to have a great future in the sport. But um, it was a fun match. I think it'll go down as one of the, you know, most exciting heavyweight matches in NCAA history. And um, obviously I'm happy that the end result was me getting my hand raised, but I think I improved as a wrestler too throughout the match, so that was fun. Okay, questions. Brian? Kyle Zeb Miller, uh, Flow Wrestling Ohio Cast. Uh, he takes you down with, he like passes you. Right. That just doesn't happen in the, in the heavyweight division. Uh, and, and you just, the way you recovered from it, what's going through your mind when you get taken down with a leg pass by a 260-plus pound Nick Wisdowski? I wasn't surprised because of when we trained together. That was something he had taken me down with a couple times before. And my game plan, part of my game plan was to get to my feet as fast as I could with my shots, which I didn't do that good of a job of. As he's a good scrambler, he's, he's always been a good scrambler. But, yeah, I feel like I kept my composure pretty well. Um, Stunk when he locked up that cradle. I was like, if I get pinned again, man, I'm gonna <laughs> lose my mind. But no, it was. Uh, he's a, he's an athletic heavyweight, good wrestler. Second part. Oh, so, oh, go ahead, that's go just ahead, second, go part. Ahead. second part. Second uh, part. When when uh, you know you you go to overtime, what's going through your mind? I felt good in overtime. I knew that uh, the momentum was running towards my way. I've been in that situation before where I needed to score, and um, I kind of had that low single off of the overtie in my head. It was something that had been working for me this whole um, season. And then in overtime, I knew it was just getting stingy and gritty with my takedown. When I get to his leg, I got to finish. It can't be any funny business. And I got my hips up underneath me and was able to score that takedown. Up here on the right. Kyle, uh, Nick Forrester, Sports Illustrated. Um, obviously a hugely anticipated match. Can you just talk about what the atmosphere was out there, was like out there tonight? It was incredible. It was so much fun. You know, it's hard to really tell when you're wrestling um, just how, how much the fans are getting into it. You can kind of hear them, but everything's kind of uh, not as loud as it would normally be if you were just sitting there listening. But then after the match was over and they were challenging that takedown, I could really hear the crowd yell and look up to the Ohio State section, and it was, it was pretty special. Uh, Mike? This might be win. Kyle, if this is supposed to be one of the greatest heavyweight matches of all time, where does this rank you among the all-time heavyweights? I have no idea. Um, Nick's, I mean, Nick has two titles, so I only got one. And, uh, I mean, I still got a lot of wrestling to do. So I don't think you can really mark me in anywhere yet until my career is over. Thanks. Eddie? Eddie Goldman, no holds barred. Congratulations. You're on quite a run, world championship, the NCAA championship. What does this affect your plans for the future? And do you think this kind of makes you a targeted guy by everybody else that's coming up? It probably makes me a targeted guy, but I think since my freshman year of high school, I've been targeted. And people, have, uh, every time they wrestle me, it's uh, one of their biggest matches of the year. So I'm used to that now, and when I win something big, I, I don't relax. It makes me hungry. I want it again. I want to improve, and I want to do it in a more dominant way next time I wrestle in it. So um, the next thing is the Olympic trials in three three weeks, and that's a big competition for me. So I got I got a lot of work to do, and a decent amount of improvement before that. Back row, Garth Garth Carroll. I'm your wrestling news, uh, Kyle. Feels like we've been here before. World Championships in Las Vegas. You kind of wait out the rush until the end, uh, getting tired. It, today, tonight, you get in on, on on shots that you normally always succeed on. He locks you up with that strength. I mean, was it was it a point where you where you said I need to back off a little bit and wait to the end of the match and, and, and keep it close till then? Not really in the beginning of the match. I just I wanted to keep getting to his legs, and I, I felt like I would finish eventually, get my head in the right spot and get up into him. But at the end, I knew he didn't have much over a minute of riding time, so it wouldn't have made sense for me to take him down and 
have them enough have have enough time to escape. So, kind of got it at the perfect moment to where there there was enough time for me to ride them out because I'm not that great on top. So, I needed as little as time on the clock as possible. Okay, here in front, Kyle Nick McWilliams. Be, be sure to identify yourself. Uh, Kyle Nick McWilliams from the Lantern. Uh, what did you see that made you go attack and go after that opening thing in overtime? Just the setup I've been I've been using a lot on uh, the practice room and my matches so far this season, and uh, I kind of know where guys are going to float out when I do that setup, and I knew where his foot was going to be, and I kind of hit it as his foot was hitting the mat, so it was really nothing, no no funky business that could go on, and I knew um, I'd be scoring the points. Gary, uh, Gary, I'm at USA Wrestling. Kyle, assess the decision to come out of Olympic red shirt and. Now that you've gone through this part of the journey, uh, uh, whether you think uh, it was the right decision for you and for the team and, and for the, our country, yeah, I would say I would say it's the right decision. I think that I've learned more. You always learn more when you compete. You know, you can go into practice and you can wrestle, but it's just a little bit different than when you're going out there and actually competing. And you can challenge yourself more to open up and um, actually wrestle the way you want to wrestle and not be, uh, not be all tight when you're out there competing, especially in these big, big matches. And even if I would have lost that, that finals match, I would still say that this was the right decision for me, the right decision for the United States, and hopefully I can prove that uh, April 10th. Mike, Tom, one more thing. You are only 19 or 20 years old. Do you, real, do, do you realize, is that young or what? I, I, yeah, I, I think it's, yeah, that's young. I, but, I mean, I got pretty big goals, and uh, if you want to achieve them, you got to do it right now. You can't wait. You've got to improve as fast as you can, try to learn more about the sport, and hopefully while you're doing that, pick up a couple wins. Thank you very much, Kyle. If you need more from Kyle Snyder, our heavyweight champion, you can catch him outside. We do have Coach Sanderson waiting to come in.